What does a surprise visit, snowball fights, and tears of joy at dinner time have to do today with another edition of Me Quick Bite? Stay tuned. Bienvenidos sean todos. Welcome back to the show Hell Spice and Life. I'm your show host, Dr. Mario Torres Leon. On recent days, I had a really, really special visit. You see, just like all of you and all of us who've been going through this pandemic, COVID-19 kept us away from seeing the people that we love and being able to socialize and, and just have those meetings that make us human beings what we are, social you know, beings and animals in this planet. Well, as it turns out, my youngest brother and my little nephew came to visit and this was an unexpected surprise visit. And not only that, it was really special because for the first time, my five-year-old nephew was able to see snow. He had never seen that. And we're filming from the state of Colorado here in the United States, and we've been getting a lot of snow lately. Well, as it turns out, we had the opportunity to see each other for the first time in over two years, almost two and a half. And being able to sit down at dinner time and talk about our lives and talk about family and just share the food and talk about moments of great dinners growing up, it just brought so many tears of joy during the course of this visit that we had. Uh, I was profoundly touched by it. But one of the things that we talked about was actually the Hispanic food of the week here at Mi Quick Bite, which is flan, F-L-A-N. Flan brings me back to my childhood and thinking about Abuela Gloria and Abuela Menina and all of those Latinos. And those of you who are not Latino, who have the grandmothers, we know how beautiful this is to us. Flan is a super traditional Latino dish that came from the European influences, particularly from Spain, and it's been adopted all over Latin America. It is extremely simple to make, but here's a caveat. Not everybody who makes it actually can make it great. And the ingredients are actually very simple. You're going to have milk, you're going to have uh, eggs, and you're also going to have sugar in there. And how that's all put together, how it's put in the oven, as you can see in some of these visuals, it's really the ultimate thing. But the kicker is, it has to be caramelized on top and have to have that really thin layer, very different from the uh, European or French counterpart, which is creme brulee, where actually there's broiling or, if you will, boiling of the sugar on top that creates a thin crust. So try this recipe that we're putting here for you because it will change the dessert experience and you will be participating of a dish that is loved all over Latin America. Flan. From my heart to your heart, I am Dr. Mario saying, a tu salud. I can't wait to see how flan can be brought into your cuisine and change your dining experience. See you next time. <music>